Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day two of the July Leco Day Challenge. Hit the like, oh, day three of the Leco July Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Hope everyone's having a good weekend uh, and, you know, celebrating Canada Day and Independence Day and all those other days. Uh, cool. So, okay, so let's see about these strings. We're so given to a string S and go. Return true if you can swap two letters in S so that the result is equal to grow. Otherwise, we turn force. Okay. Uh, so, you know, uh, of course, the first thing that you should try to do is do the most naive thing, maybe. Uh, or at least, like, talk through it if you're in an interview. Uh, but seeing that N is equals to 2 times 10 to the 4th, N squared is probably too slow. Um, so then the question is, you know, uh, I mean, it is supposed to be easy after all. So the idea is just try to figure out... Um, you know, basically two places where, um, two places where they're not the same, right? At most, uh, and if they're more than two places, then you're you're bad anyway. So yeah, um, what happens if there's only one place where they're not the same? Mm, that could still, I think that's still bad. So yeah, so I think we just count. I don't know if you can also swap no letters, so I don't know if that's, like, yeah, but, oh, okay, yeah, 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 so, that is technically, okay, but there, so the first thing that I'm going to try is just to, you know, look at two characters where they're the same, um, or two characters where they're different, right, so basically, maybe I would do something like this, do, 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 any single length of S, for i in range of n, uh, diff is equal to zero. If s of i is not equal to go of so i, you know, do, 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 oops. And if diff is not equal to two, then we return false. But, uh, well, that's not true yet, right? But if it's greater than two, then we definitely return false. Um, and then now I'm trying to think. So, I mean, this is a case analysis, right? So I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think, okay, is there a case where you can do it where there's only one, right? So I, I don't think so. If there's only one difference, by definition, if you swap, it will still be one difference. So, um, so yeah, it will still be forced, if I, I believe. So, yeah, so we can return that. And the only case is if you have zero or two. Hmm... If diff is equal to zero, right, then you have to, then, um, then the strings are the same, obviously. But that also means that if you have to swap one character with itself, that so that doesn't make any change, so that they're the same. So basically, you're doing something like, um, like on S, uh, the values and then max of this is greater than you go to two, right? Basically, you're saying there's at least one character that is at least 26. Oh, sorry, one character that's at least two uh, appears twice, right? Otherwise, if it's you go to two, then there probably is some. Then we can just return. I was gonna say there's probably some fancy way of doing it, but you can you could also just manually simulate it, I think. But if we just do this, I think should be good maybe. I don't know if that I got all the cases. These things are always tricky in the sense of like enumerating all the cases. And it's always hard to kind of know whether you got all of them. Uh let me give it a submit. Okay, whew. To be honest, wasn't super confident about this one. What did I do last time? Yeah, I was going to do this, to be honest. Um, basically, I, I debated doing this where, you know, you just look at the two characters and then you actually swap them. That was the other way that I was going to do it. But I think if the the diff is two, then it just, it's, okay, it's sufficient that um, the frequency table is the same. So yeah, I mean, this is an easy problem, but it, it is... It is still, if you ask me, it's still tricky because it's one of those things where um, you almost have to prove 
like you have to prove that you've done enough, right? And well, you need a proof so, so that you know you've done enough. Um, and it's not always clear to me that like, okay, these are all the possible cases, right? So I think that's or like it covers all the cases, and there's no special cases and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so I'm always like a little wary about it, wary about it. But yeah, but it turns out to be okay today. So yeah, let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.